shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, I fucked this one up a couple times this year and it's not getting any better. I'm putting all kinds of bionic shots in it. Right, yeah. Well, that's, that's why I get this got the Sega one replaced because they stopped it. My insurance stopped paying for the shots. I'm like, well, okay, then if you want to pay for $600 worth of the shots every six months, you can pay 200 grand for a new knee. Yeah, there you go. The money doesn't, the dollars don't work out in my mind, but whatever, you be you. So, so what all you guys got going on this new? Uh, I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of the same. You know, the the, the foundation optics, uh, the handmade in the U.S. Um, you know, I run the foundation. The 17 is great for like a DMR. I run one on a 6.65 Creedmoor gas gun. It's like a PRS type match? Uh, more of a gas gun match. So, okay. if, you know, for the. I guess so. For, PRS is just bold. Yeah, well. Show my name. So, so, and say, I haven't gotten into that yet. So, gas gun, they tend to, uh, you know, only go out to about 800, 900 yards. Um, you, while you can shoot a 17X further than that, I like to shoot a 25X at 17 on the, uh, for those longer, longer range matches. So, like, on my uh, regular uh, center fire PRS rifle or my rim fire PRS rifle, I'm running our uh, uh, Foundation 25, which is a, you know, 5 to 25. Um, the JVCR reticle, you know, if you've ever heard of Jake Vibbert, he's a big PRS guy. He's, it's a reticle that he designed. Yeah. Um, it's actually here, if you want to see it, it's right there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right on. The nice, clean, holdover reticle. Kurt, can you flip around real quick so I can zoom in on yeah. it? Yeah. Got it. Thanks, sir. It's the tree. Yeah. Why is it? Why is the bottom branch of the of the reticle so you know all full width where the? I just, the so you have more. So as you hold over more, you need more wind hold. Right. So it goes all the way to the outer end. Yeah. Right. Just to give you more, more, more. You know, so you have less clutter, clutter in the center exactly. too. So if you're not holding over, right. you have a nice clean center holding. Yep. Too, right. so. so if you compare that to like the, the Horus reticles, you know, I shot H59 for a long time, or the Tremor 3 is another another one to compare it to. It's a lot cleaner, a lot less less clutter. Uh, you know, they both they all have the, have their uses. Yeah. This is I would say this is more of a competition focused reticle. This mm -hmm. is a lot more. You know, if you're in a combat situation and you need your, your wind holds on a gas gun, a, t a Tremor 3 is going to be far superior. Yeah. But. Uh, What's the price point on these? Uh, Josh. Yes, sir. Retail. Uh, 34.99. Yep. Check it most than yeah. I expect. For an expensive hobby, that's a lot less than I expected. Absolutely. With, with made in America. Absolutely. Yeah. So where's the class from? Um, we import that from several different vendors, um, mostly Japanese. Okay, Japanese glass is good. Right. But all the scopes are hand assembled at the factory in North Carolina. So since you got, you know, your bionic knees now, are you going to get back into three gun or are you sticking with precision? Uh, the plan is to get back into three gun. The problem is my kids keep getting older, so my the amount of time I have, the uh, amount of haul passes I get yep. gets, gets less and less. Um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely be Texas Three Gun Championship this year. Definitely be a Memorial Three Gun. I um, miss going to Texas Three Gun. I yeah. need to do that again. Memorial Three Gun is probably turning into my favorite, <laughs> yeah. just because of the, uh, the where, where the money is going for. You know, yeah. Memorial Three Gun is, is a foundation that raises uh, money for uh, Special Forces Gold Star families. Right. Um, Where's that Memorial Three Gun at? Is that so it's at the Fort Bragg Con Combat Training Center so, okay. in Maxton, North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, so just south of Fort Bragg. Cool. So, but it's it's pretty pretty amazing, you know. Every year, as opposed to, like there's there's no stage sponsorship because every stage is uh, dedicated to a fallen SF guy. And you, I mean, you start every stage. The beginning of your stage stage description is hearing about the guy who that stage is is, is dedicated to. Often in the words of of his you know parents or his wife, you know. So. And then, now, is that one of those ones where it's, uh, it's a little bit kind of running gun tactical too, because the military guys have some influence on it? No. no so uh, what was that one? I remember the one. Year that, was it, yeah, well, it Duskin's was still that way. way, and then uh, I would say uh, Task Force Dagger was a little bit that way. Yeah. Uh, no. So Jason from uh, Zoo City Armory builds the match. Um, so I mean, it's I mean, I've shot the last two years in a row, and it's I mean. 
I've been shooting with 3-Gun for a long time, and two, uh, 2021 was the, probably one of the funnest matches I've shot. Yeah. It was in, it's in the top five ever. Sweet. Um, uh, you know, to check that out. Eric, Eric Eckhart's the range master. Oh, yeah. So, Good dude. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah. I remember I sat, I sat out in uh, the old circle bar one night listening to Eric tell stories about oh, yeah. Halo jumping and shit. Hey oh, ho yeah. Jumping. Hey ho, Halo, all, all of the above. Yeah. Who's he married to? Uh, they're not married uh, yet, but it's Heather Miller. Oh, okay. That's right. They're still together? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She's still with Staccato, right? Yep. Yeah. Good deal. All right, yeah. man. We'll let you get Good back. Good you, brother. We got to go uh, do some meetings. And yeah, yeah. Here in the thing, trying to find some money in this industry to squeeze out. Right. You still got the, the storefront in, in Missouri? Or? Yeah, I've got, I've got a storefront in St. Louis. I've got a storefront in Clearwater. And I've got a storefront in Orlando. Oh.